Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. On our media line, North Carolina wildlife officer, Philip Griffin. Hey, Philip, how are you? Hey, Mike, doing great. Hope you are. Well, I'm doing fine. Yeah, out and about and a beautiful day in our state and around our neighboring counties. Now, you want to give us some safe tips as we're out, safety tips as we're out on the water, because Memorial Day weekend, as we all know, is a time that everybody gets out and stirring, and and everybody, they're ready now, aren't they? Yes, sir, they sure are. uh, (laughs) The the weather's been real good last weekend, and uh, the weather's kind of mixed for for this weekend. I think it's supposed to cool down a a touch, but Mm -hmm. everybody's primed and ready to the uh, Memorial Day weekend kind of starts off the, the boating season for us. It certainly does. Okay. Well, we're ready to uh, get those safety tips. Uh, let us know what we need to do and maybe what we, we should not do. Okay. Well, this coming weekend, Memorial Day weekend, kind of starts off our on-the-road and on-the-water uh, Don't Drink and Drive uh, campaign. Uh, it's a collaboration between us and, and SHP, the State Highway Patrol, mm-hmm. uh, to to kind of debtor the the impaired uh, operators on boat and, and on the uh, on the road on, in the vehicles yeah. um, this is the 11th year that the campaign has been going on with uh, well again with us and highway patrol and mothers against drunk driving uh, trying to cut down on all the impaired uh, operators and, and wrecks that uh, that those calls uh, by being impaired mm-hmm. yeah. um, we'll be doing uh, enforcement officers will be conducting sobriety checkpoints and we will be promoting public awareness to, to cut down on that impaired operating okay, uh, great. vehicles and, and um, again, on the road and on the water. Um, most of our boating accidents, uh, as we've found, uh, usually occurs between May, June, and July, where that inattention is a leading cause of boat incidents. Um, just because that impaired, uh, just slower reaction times, and on the water, there's no... There's no roads, there's no lanes, and so it's a lot, uh, can be a lot more dangerous on, on the water. Mm-hmm, sure. Um, so uh, the, the awareness, kind of, that campaign goes through the, pr- pretty much through the summer. We're hitting Memorial Day weekend, then July 4th, and then September uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, so we, we do it all all year, all summer, um, but those are kind of our high, high, volume of folks out on the water that we found right yeah okay all righty so as people uh, get out uh, really uh, for the summer uh, starting uh, this weekend uh, if, if we're on the water what are some things we definitely should be doing okay the state law requires anyone born on or after january 1st 1988 who is operating a vessel uh, that's got a 10 horsepower motor or greater has to go through our Boating safety education course uh, to be in compliance. They've got to go. It's not a, a boating license, but it is a certificate that you at least know the basic safety rules. So that would be that's where I would start uh, with anyone who is uh, January first, nineteen eighty-eight. Uh, if they're born on that date or after, that's where you need to start to kind of get everything. Uh, but what we'll do uh, on the water when we do a safety check, at least have your safety equipment. Uh, we need a wearable life jacket for everyone on board. And uh, you have to have a Type 4, uh, it's a throwable life jacket that's Coast Guard approved. And then uh, a fire extinguisher is also part of the safety equipment that we look for. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and, then, and then beyond that, uh, any children that are born uh, on, that are on board the, the vessels, uh, anybody that's 13 or under 13, so 12 and under, have to have a life jacket on at all times. I know the families and stuff will be out out and about uh so anyone uh 12 and under under 13 has to have that life jacket on at all times mm-hmm. okay um so that that's the, the safety stuff that we look for uh try to be get experiencing out there and then keep your head on the swivel uh, because again on the water there's no there's no lanes uh to, to keep air kind of keep people going in the same way there's there's uh, vessels coming from all the react uh react areas mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah um yeah. And then uh, it doesn't doesn't do any good to have those life jackets just on board. It, we recommend everybody wearing them at, at all times. I know they they're, they're not the most comfortable thing, but at least if you're going up and down the waterways, we I would wear that, that life jacket. Um, out of all the boating accidents, 
investigations in 2020 in North Carolina, there were 29 fatalities, eight of which were affected by alcohol use. And then there were 159 non-fatal boating incidents, 15 of which were alcohol-related. And not wearing a life vest was a contributing factor in many of those fatal accidents. Of the 29 fatalities, 11 were wearing a life jacket. So mm-hmm. more than more than half um, were not wearing a life jacket, and they could have probably saved their life if they were wearing them. So that, our our big thing is uh, have the have all the safety equipment and also put it to use uh, by wearing them. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right, so those are some good tips, and I, and I hear some common sense things there, but uh, sometimes uh, uh, we just don't uh, have common sense come into play in some things, but and some violations occur, and that leads to uh, a, a bad situation. But these are some, some basic things you need to do. What about, I know a lot of people getting out uh, and tubing on the rivers and uh, – I heard someone say the other day, be sure to take a cell phone with you in a waterproof bag. Yeah, that would be helpful. I mean, if something happens, be able to contact somebody uh, immediately. If you've got a handheld radio, a cell phone, anything, be prepared. Have, have a safety uh, first aid kit. Go through a CPR, this first aid class. Any of those for um, stuff that you can prepare for something that may happen because st- stuff's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, being able to prepare and get through that situation uh, will, will for sure uh, um, make sure that you get through it the best you can. Yeah. Well, and, and what about, you know, some people come into Rockingham County from uh, uh, neighboring counties from across the state now uh, because we have the new Madison River Park open. And uh, so more people are coming into the area. It's, it's a destination um, and we find out that maybe sometimes people uh, just get on the river and, and maybe they, they don't tell anyone back on land uh, where they are, where they're going. So it's always a good idea to have someone know, uh, maybe back home or whatever, uh, what you're doing on the water too, isn't it? That's right. Yes, sir. Uh, when we teach our hunter safety classes and our boat education classes, as part of the uh, curriculum is uh, you have a file of float plan on the water and and just giving people, uh, somebody, uh, write a note, send an email, text message uh, to people, let them know where you're going uh, and or where you could possibly go. If one place is good, we we'll can go to here for plan B, plan C, mm-hmm. and uh, I should be back at, at this time. And if I'm not back this time, come looking for me. So that's definitely a good idea. Yeah, because sometimes uh, people come into the area and you get on the river in a long stretch, it all pretty much looks the same once you get away from the launch spot, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, it sure does. Um, and then if you can lose track of time real quick, mm-hmm. uh, especially if you're having a good time, and which is what we want everybody to do is go out and have a good time, but we want everybody to be safe as well. But, yeah, that, that time can get away from you, that sun beating down on you, and if you've had mix out with uh, a little bit of alcohol or a lot of, uh, lot of alcohol, mm-hmm. it could certainly uh, get to a place that you don't know where you are. Yeah. Well, uh, now you mentioned uh, the North Carolina State Highway Patrol and, uh, the safety checks that they do at random here and there. Uh, what about on the water? Is that something that that you do, um, you know, on a regular basis? Uh, not necessarily a regular basis, but we do uh, have operations, and we'll this certainly this weekend. We'll uh, the the Batmobile, which is run by the uh, highway uh, program, that mm. uh, that trying again to stop the impairment of uh, impaired driving. That uh, we'll have checkpoints, so we'll have them on the ramps or on the water from time to time, uh, and in conjunction with the, the state highway patrol and any and other agencies as well. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, I appreciate the uh, the safety tips. Uh, always helpful. And uh, again, just uh, uh, do the right thing. Use some common sense when you're out there, and uh, don't uh, don't abuse uh, the alcohol, and uh, just have a good time. But uh, stay safe. That's that's the bottom line, isn't it? Yes, sir. Definitely stay safe. Uh, go out and have a good time. We, we promote everybody uh, getting out, uh, being safe, responsible boaters. And that's why we want everybody to, to go have fun, but also go home the way that you that you that you left it. Yeah. And um, and again, part of that, and I just thought of something with the uh, the jet skis are becoming a very popular uh, vessel being used, and those. Uh, and you'll 
learned that through this uh, the class that we're talking about, the Boone County class, that the jet skis have to be off the water at sunset. Even though there's still light outside, they, they've got to be off the water at sunset. And um, so that, that, I know that's become popular, so I want everybody to know that as well. Yeah. See, some people don't realize that, do they? And, and they, you know, there, there are rules out there that they need to be familiar with. That's right. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's why we promote, uh, even if you are outside of that age, you were know, born before January 1st, 1988, we recommend, uh, especially if you've never operated a vessel or, or a jet ski, uh, go through our six-hour course. Uh, you can do it online, but uh, there's something about doing the, the courses in person as well. Yeah. And we are, um, with the COVID uh, restrictions change, we are doing in-person classes. And uh, we're at uh, uh, capacity on those things. So um, for sure, sign up. You can go to our website at ncwildlife.org. Again, that's ncwildlife.org. And sign up for one of our classes across the state. Okay, that's great. ncwildlife.org, a good source of information. And then your Facebook page as well. I like to check that out regularly because uh, lots of uh, good stuff there for sure. All right, well, we've got about a minute remaining. Philip, anything to kind of wrap up? I think that that'd be it. Uh, everybody have a good time Memorial Day weekend, and uh, thank you to veterans, uh, everyone that's, uh, for everybody's service, and uh, y'all have a safe, uh, safe summer. That's exactly right. We certainly uh, there are a number of uh, Memorial Day events going on, particularly uh, mentioning the one here before we wrap it up at the uh, Rockingham County Veterans Park. It's on NC sixty five Reedsville Sunday at two o'clock. That park is right across from. Rockingham Community College, always a special event for sure. And uh, I'm glad you mentioned that, too. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, and I appreciate your time and good information, as always. Yes, sir. Thank you for your platform that we can get the word out. Glad to do it, and uh, have a good Memorial Day. Safe weekend, too, and we'll talk again soon. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. Wanted you to hear from Philip Griffin. He is a North Carolina wildlife officer. Again, let me uh, remind you about the website that is ncwildlife.org, and please uh, visit the agency on Facebook as well. We want you to do the right thing and have a safe Memorial Day weekend to kick things off as people are getting out again, and to have a safe summer, too, on the water and in conjunction with the North Carolina State Highway Patrol on the highways as well.